Last time on the Guild of Brockhart. Our adventurers woke up outside the city of Ashbourne, to which they found they ended up finding out that the name wasn't the only thing that was Ash. They saw that it was pretty dark in the distance, and when they arrived, it looked like the entire city was burned down and there was soot everywhere. They looked around. And there, there was not a soul alive that they could find. A couple of people dead. A lot of houses destroyed. But then something caught Dying Ninja's eye. A shadow moving down in the darkness, down an alleyway. They followed. They ended up catching up to the person and actually getting some information on what happened in the city. This person was a looter. He did not live in the city, and he described that the city burned down when the king returned. There was a, a coup, and the king, and he had no idea where the king was. Our adventurers then went to the palace, just straight to business, to find the king. Donnie ended up approaching the king, who was limp, very weak in the chair. He did everything in his power besides help him drink a potion to heal him. Eventually, the, the king was strong enough to drink some of the potion and was able to tell him what all happened. Not happy with his uh, story, Gnome Face called him some names and stabbed him. Which was weird, because Gnome Face was supposed to be the diplomat of the group. But then, the leader of the coup popped out of the wall and had some words back and forth with them. Donnie felt his masculinity threatened and decided to pick a fight. This is where we jump in. Our adventurers took out the, his protective hounds and are just focusing on the coup leader. All right, how was that? Pretty close. That, that was good. I feel like these summaries are getting more and more concise. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys didn't do a lot in terms. It just... Like, if you guys... If it's a whole lot of role playing throughout with session, those ones are the ones that are hard to recap because a lot happens. A couple fights and that can that can extend time quite a bit. True. By, by the yeah. way, I am upset that Gnome Face is the one who stabbed the king. I was gonna do it. I was just, just wanted to be sure he didn't have anything useful to say, and I still wasn't even sure. There were three <laughs> I know people. I was the one who went into this all diplomatic, but when he said that he. Bled and hit on his throne while his knights fought the rebellion. Like, I couldn't take that anymore. I, I had to stab him. He deserved death. That's well, at least I threw him off of his chair before he died. I completely. just wanted. All right, that, that 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 that's equivalent to kicking dirt in his face when he's already dying on the ground. Like, hey. like yes, you did something, but did it really help? <laughs> it didn't hurt. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I just want to make it clear that you went in intending on being diplomatic, but then you end up killing him. I did. I did indeed. He was a shit person. He deserved to die. True that. Ex yep, yep, that's very true. He was, I mean, I set him up. He was a bad king. <laughs> yeah, you did set him up. <laughs> if, if anyone would know if he's a good king, it would be me. Zero yeah. redeeming qualities. The painting on the picture was quite clear. <laughs> Bad guy must die. <laughs> so, we're in the middle of this fight here. Um, if I remember correctly, we killed the dogs and we just got Magma Fucker. And it looks like it's my turn in the turn order. <laughs> uh, you just went. Are you sure? Yes, because I can see back to the last. The last roll was you rolling a d10. 
But what was right before that? Me? Yeah. So you did your turn, you attack twice. There's two damage. There's your D eight rapier and your D four something or another, and then I rolled the uh, Oh that's because I'm I'm enchanting my weapon with my water blade, my water shower skill. Yeah. But then I I did the the terrain damage to you. And yeah, so it's this guy's turn. Okay. Um Oh, yeah, where did that book go? I think it was page 168. Does that sound right to you guys? 172. Uh, 189. You know, I'm actually going to... Ooh. Ooh. Any final guesses? 69. Oh, well, you were closer with the first one. (laughs) It's 183. Nah. 183? You were close with the 189. (laughs) <laughs> wow. Oh, I wish it was 17 killer. That'd be... What is 17? Oh, great. We're gonna have a fucking dragon. Oh, God. The I don't... The aren't in the beginning of the book. <laughs> it's alphabetical, man. There could be a... <laughs> ether dragon on page 17. No, it's a... Planetar... Planetar doesn't sound less dangerous than a dragon. It doesn't. The challenge does level 16. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to show you guys this, uh, the picture of what it is. Give me one second, because it, it's actually pretty cool. It's like a, a winged paladin. Yeah, dude, that sounds horrible. Yeah, it oh, really it doesn't sound fantastic. So it doesn't sound like something we really want to deal with right now. <laughs> Alright, look at the stream. That's yeah, it, it does look quite awesome. I don't <laughs> want to fight it. <laughs> I'm going to lava man. Okay, okay. It's still early. That James. That right. thing looks like it would be able to blink me out of existence. <laughs> I, I didn't look at the attacks, but there's a list of them. <laughs> All right, drink enough. You're good. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this guy is going to attack... I'm, I don't know who he was aggroed on, but he's going to yeah. attack both of you. How does that sound? Okay, okay with it. I mean, it's mostly been me, but, like, uh, I mean, like, I don't really want any more of that. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> uh, a natural 20 and a 21? Yeah. Yeah, that'll hit. I can't. But I can't. Can you turn the button down, please, buddy? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what this? Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Don't do it. Time to show you what this sign says. All right. So eleven to gnome face, and a fourteen to dying danger. <laughs> What the time said to you. Donnie, it's your turn. Jumalai Jitty. Okay. Yeah. Think of regeneration, plus one. Okay, I am going to... Lord, hmm. Jumalai Jitty. I mean, quick attacking does seem quite impotent. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to risk it with a power attack. Can I double power swing? Using only 15% HP, or do I have to mo- minus like 15% twice? Really? Really? Yeah. No, you can power right. swing once and use your regular attack a second time. Okay. Yeah, you, you've only ever been able to power swing once. Okay. Otherwise, you would have to do it twice. You would have to take 15% of your max HP twice. I'm just going to do a normal swing. Normal swing, shield swing. Let's try Okay. It. Let's see what happens. Any day now. Waiting on you. 
He froze. Get him oh, what? Stop dying. I'm not. Get a new computer. Oh. Did I miss something? A natural 20. Yep. And a 12. Yeah. The net, the net 20 hits. Oh, if a nat 20 missed, I'd be super pissed. Okay, so double the initial roll, right? So, 16 damage on the swing. D20 plus. And then my shield bash, which is a D6, I believe. Hits with a 23, I assume. For eight damage. Hold on. Your shield bash was the five. No, I swung twice and shield bash. That's an action that you allowed. Two two average swings, no abilities. Since I dual wield and I have a double so strike. You're not using power swing? Right. No. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So just, I was just making sure. Two very average swings and a shield bash. Which also seems to be my potent action I've taken against this guy so far. Well, your net 20 was nice. Yeah. So. You take 12 fire damage. Um, are you going to move or stay where you're at? Ouch. I take 12? Yeah. Uh, can I move after all the things I've just done? Well, you d use actions, but you haven't done move actions. I kind of go, yeah, I can't take the heat no more, no face. I'm going to book it right over here. All right. Hop. What? <laughs> I hop, skip, and I jump over here to this grid. Um, no. Yeah. You can come over yeah. here. You can come over here. You can't cross in front of him. Oh, okay. Well, I go over here. Okay. That's my action. Uh, it's Demi turn. She's gonna dual heal me. Okay. What's the bonus on her heal? I think it's a three. That's odd. So I get sixteen life back. Okay. And that'll end her turn. Okay, it's Willis' turn. Okay. She is doing all right, so she's going to just come down and use her flurry of swipes. 10d20 plus 6. D20 plus 6. Okay. So, more than 20, more than 20. 23, Six. 22, 16, 16, unnatural 20, 25, 19, 17, natural 20, and 18. Yeah. Oh, Goddamn. You did that a lot faster than I could have. Five hit. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a solid round anyone else and they've been you've been doing 10 hits of damage <laughs> yeah probably Five, two, four. okay so that's plus five 20 damage altogether mm, what do 22 you actually okay two three four five that, that last two is doubled Oh, okay. It's an at 20. Nice. We're dealing a lot of damage to this guy this turn. 
Thank you. Uh, Willa takes eight damage. Thank you. Take care. Okey doke. Ah, uh, wait. Uh, that's a second. Uh, nine damage. There's a plus one to that. Oh, okay. So, okay. No face. You're up. Right. 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 See if I can fuck him up. Yeah, let's see what my bonuses are. Cannot remember those from day to day. I get plus. It's agility for hit, right? For rapier, yes. Yeah, so plus four, plus five, plus six and seven. I forgot you guys' bonuses were this much. I would have made his AC higher. Uh, like <laughs> absolute dog shit. Yeah, I missed both my swings. Um, what were they? Yeah, I got a sixteen and a nat one. Yeah, you you missed. Yep. ACs uh, are fine, Dan. They're fine. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. Will just crush that one. I did too. And how often does that actually happen, though? Too much. Uh, of with that I'm gonna end my turn. All right. You take eleven fire damage. Eleven? Are you getting me even that one? Come on. That's a crit failure, man. I think it's getting hotter. I think so too. It, it's no, it's it's just straight damage. There's no hit. Don't care. Crit failure. Potentially take twenty damage passively per turn. Ooh. Yeah. Um. You you, you guys blew it off initially until. <laughs> All right. Until it's, this, <laughs> it's this guy's turn. <laughs> He goes, all right. He, he goes to you guys like, oh, oh, you just we'll have to reconvene this some other time. And then he stabs his sword in the ground with a giant. Great, I'm right in front of that shit. He yelled so loud, Dan's mic cut out. Oh really? I was too close to my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Happened again. This guy's powerful. Yeah. That's like Super Saiyan level yelling right there. So strong, it breaks the fourth wall. Well, I, I'll have to test that one, Mike, between the sessions. But anyways, in all the cracks of the um, the, the lava the thing, the, the crack ground magma lava spot, uh, fire just rises up. I'm like reaching for my tomahawks. I'm like, no, what? <laughs> uh, I have been stabbing him in the knee. If that helps at all. No, dude. Um. Okay. Yeah. Fire. Pain. Why? Why? No. I was totally ready for what happens next, but it wasn't that. <laughs> not. I'm probably like roasty toasty right now. All right. The, the... be alive. The fire subsides. He's gone. Oh. Well, shitty balls. Well, hey, I guess we scared him away. I mean, of course we scared him away. We're king slayers, after all. Just coming from the guy who just ran out of the lava pit with his panties in a bunch. I was going to strategically use my tomahawks to throw at him. I have a stretch. Willa walks down in and she goes, um, Donnie, um, he'll be back. Trust me. Uh, um, he said it, but I, I believe he'll, he'll hold up to it. Well, maybe not soon, though, right? <laughs> she just gives you a look. Well, uh... Maybe instead of us being concerned, maybe it's him who should be concerned about us coming back to him. Yeah. 
I look at Donnie Danger and I go, dude, that wasn't a wake up call for you. It sure as fuck was for me. We need to get stronger. Yeah, that that was pretty bad. But like, I mean, we've been trying this whole time to get stronger. When have we ever really stopped? We just spent like a month building our house. Okay. Uh, for the record, you weren't really there. The, the amount of time you were actually there when you got your house and gave the plans away was like a week and a half. We just spent like a week and a half planning our house. We could have been killing shit. Suppose well, we could undertake some more uh, quests of the non important variety. I, I kind of like sigh a little bit and I go, yeah. I'm just panicking. I mean, I almost died there. Usually you're the one that's dead, so... Well, I had, like, 31 H... I'm 46 now. I feel better for some reason, but... I mean, I was in the same boat, Gnome Face. Just gotta yeah, keep your head up. You're always in that boat. <laughs> <laughs> True. It's not an unfamiliar ride. But building our house is important, too. We need to get a base of operations going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First things first, a house isn't going to help us in a rematch. Nope. No, it's not. We definitely need to grind our skills better. Plus, in order to improve the house, we're going to need money. So maybe two birds with one stone, we do some quests for gold. Our house is supposed to be our guild headquarters as well, so we should be getting quests through the Owlry. There we go. Let's start there. Maybe nothing so grand as killing a king in a burned kingdom. Just, you know, do something for some villagers. We just saved, like, an entire village. Well, they didn't really ask us to. They didn't even thank us. I don't think we got any reward for it, either. I don't I think it was at, honest, honestly. I kind of look at Willow, and I go, maybe we should uh, hire out Willow and have her go sing for money. She Maybe. Comes in, she's like, hey, we put on a concert for you guys. It's not my fault that you ended up in an alleyway. I wasn't the one in the alleyway. That was him. Hey. That, 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 she goes, that's why I was talking to Donnie. Oh, okay. I mean, they, they should have noticed me. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe they could have thanked me by letting me cut in line or something. I don't know. You, you, you'd think saving like 14 villagers would counteract their bad karma of cutting in line. Killer's telling you guys to go train. Yeah. Uh, we do need some training. Whole heart I have a few ideas in progress, but I need to level up some skills to get them. I have an idea, too. I think I need to get better at swinging my sword. <laughs> All you ever do is swing that stupid sword. By the way, Gnome Face, you take 21 points of damage. Why am I dying? Because you're still standing on the lava pit. I thought that thing dispelled. Yeah, I thought it was gone. It's still on the map. (laughs) No longer in the lava. Yeah, but you still take 21 points of damage. I took it. Donnie, (laughs) you take nine. Oh, no. (laughs) I mean, you guys just decide to, like, there's fire that came out of the ground. And you guys decide to have a conversation while the rocks below you are just massively hot. Which I'm, yeah. surpri- I'm sort you're of surprised. you devious because you've never done this to us before. I gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> Which I'm really surprised you guys stayed on there as long because you guys didn't pick up on the fact of my rolls. I kept telling you damage, but you never actually like looked and you would have no. seen every time I rolled like the plus blah 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 kept getting higher and higher well i noticed i just didn't care because i wasn't close to dead yet oh, he knows that. Had, i mean healing me and i wanted to hit with my rapier because i felt like this was a big bad and most of my power comes from my rapier all of my spells are kind of underpowered right now you're looking I at only... roll a 20 on my la- uh, a full 10 on the last one and i rolled a one I was only able to tell it was getting hotter when you rolled a nat 1 and dealt more damage to Gnome Face than I took. <laughs> uh, like, the first <laughs> few times I got burned. I'm like, that was the minimum? That was more than I've been getting. <laughs> it must be getting hotter. Yeah, most of those rolls were, like, below 5. 
So, all right. Um, so yeah, after that, the mysterious person's gone. You guys don't know the name. The, I mean, the dogs have been burned out. And the k- king's body's just kind of laying there, kind of on fire by now. Does he have, uh, well, I, I cast shower dance on the area to put out the lava. All right. It, 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 it hardens. Um, I go to his body and I check if he has any sort of token or marker that's distinguishable that I can bring back to his brother to show that he's dead. Or his nephew, I guess. Nephew or brother, either one. I mean, he has his crown. He also has his armor that has his uh, crest on it. Um, Other than that, if you want more, you're going to have to roll for it. I'll roll forward to see what we get, but at the same point, I'm going to take the crown not about peel armor off a dead guy. I rolled a three. Alright, you don't see the weapon on his side. Okay. And I walk away with the crown, and I, I say to the group, we'll take this back to Brockhart to show that the deed is done. Mufasa will no longer be an issue. And at the same point, we should probably warn the prince about the uh, mysterious Fuck face. I mean, I know he was on fire, but was the crown the only thing he had on him? Well, he had armor, but I wasn't about to peel his armor off his body. You want uh, to peel his armor off his body? Go for it. Uh, I'll pass. It won't fit you anyways. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a long and unpleasant experience trying to pry it from a burnt corpse anyway. Uh, that's all I noticed was the armor. Eh. Let's let's get back to Brockhart. Let's uh take the long way. Kill some animals. Maybe some bandits. Who knows? Maybe rest up before the night somewhere? Well first? yeah. Definitely gotta rest for it. But you know, take the long way back. Maybe yeah. make a trip out of it. I mean sure we could do that. I'd rather do quests proper than fight stuff at you know, randomly by the wayside. Well, again, we... she's like, uh, I'm pretty sure the king and the prince are waiting for us to return. I'm yeah. Sure, I'm sure there'll be quests by the time we get back to do. Oh, yeah. fine. We'll have it your way. I say, pouting a little bit as I walk up to Demi. I mean, I know, I know it's fun to just randomly do stuff, but I'd rather do proper questing. That way we get paid for it by somebody. And the sooner we get to Brockhart, deliver the crown, the sooner we can do proper questing. Okay, okay. I already agreed to do it your way. Jeez. Way <laughs> to be the dead horse. Let's go. And we're going. Going, going, gone. So you guys start walking. Well, Oop. okay, yeah. You guys start walking out. And we're going to go... Where are you guys? There you are. We're going to go back to the city. Once it loads up. There we go. There, You're outside the palace in the ruined city. What would you like to do? From here. I mean, do any... Is the fire done? You know, this whole place is done burning, right? Yeah, it was done burning by the time you got here. Maybe we could find shelter and rest somewhere instead of setting up camp by the side of a road somewhere. Sure. Definitely seems like a simple and, uh, you know, easy solution to being near death. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's like in a, in a normal 24-hour time or day cycle. It's like 3 p.m. You kind of did this stuff in the middle of the day. So, you have time to look around the city if you wish. Yes, let's take out a building that's not about to collapse. I'll make make a suggestion that me and Demi will go this way to look at buildings. Why don't you and Willow go this way if um, you run into any trouble? Um, send up a warding. Neither one of you can cast magic, can you? 
Nope. Well, I mean, Will can you can cast Fog or something like that. Uh, have Willow throw down a throw up a smoke bomb so we can see the smoke signal. And if we run into trouble, I'll throw up a firebolt so you can see the fire. I mean, it is cast cover, so I don't know how clear that's going to be from a distance, but I'm okay. That's my suggestion, and I'm sticking to it. All right. All right, who wants to go first? Mm -hmm. I can go first. All right, we had to... I'm going to generally peruse between sections 11 and 12 for suitable resting areas. And then go past 12, between 12 and 10, once I'm sure there's nothing good there. Alright, I'm feeling lazy, so roll a d20. <laughs> a 7! You see a lot of burnt buildings, but all these ones have their roofs burned off. Darn it. Okay, on to sections 12 through 10. Roll another 20? Yeah. Roll 10! I mean, it's pretty much the same here. You see a couple buildings with, like, partial roofs, but nothing really stands out to you. We're getting quite far away from uh, the re-meet grounds, but sections 10 through 15 does look promising. Let's go there and roll. Do another uh, inspection. A 13 this time. You find a house that's uh, kind of... You, you kind of look at it, you're like, how is that still together? But it's in one piece. It just looks black and charred. The door is partially there. Do you wish to go inside? Yeah, I open the door. You kind of, like, touch the door, and it kind of, like, breaks in half, but it swings open. Uh, you, you can tell it it was a house. It wasn't, like, a shop. Um, there's a nice little kind of spacious room in, that you walk into in the other room. There's a little bit of a what looks like a kitchen. Um, there's some stairs to go upstairs. But yeah, it looks like it, it could be suitable. Well, what do you think? I don't trust the stairs, but if we were to rest on the front first floor, do you think we'd all be okay? She goes, oh, well, as long as we don't get attacked by looters, we'll be fine. Well, looters have a lot to pick from. I don't think they would want to attack us when there's so much free real estate around here. She goes, yeah, you make a good point there. So, I think we got a good spot here. We could go further out, but a bit eager to meet up back with Gnome Faith. And tell him of the... Go ahead. Tell him of the, you know, fine abode we found. And on that note, we're going to switch to Gnome Faith and Demi. Sounds good. Um... The first place I want to check is the temples, if they look still whole or not. Um, how lucky are you feeling? Not very, but do what I do. All right, roll for it. Bam, a 15. You find a couple temples that are actually uh, all in one piece. They they look burned, um, but yeah, they they're in one piece. I ask uh, Demi if any of these temples are fuck. I still gotta find a god for her. Any of these temples are uh, designated to her god. She, um, that's a good question. She goes, ah, uh, this one over exactly. here. It's not. My god, per se, but it's related to my god. Does that help? Sure. Uh, I go on that one. 
you guys walk in. The inside looks like in one piece. Um, you know, still looks a little charred and whatnot, but yeah. I found her, God. Okay. What's her God? Luru, L U R U E. Who? Luru, L U R U E. It's the queen of talking beasts. She's goddess of intelligence, talking beasts. She's worked by many for unicorns, mostly. Uh, Intelligent non-human creatures as well as by romantic and swashbuckling adventurers. It's perfect. It fits us awesomely. I can see it. So, that's her god. Alright. Okay, anyway. So, go in the temple. Um, I ask if there's any way she can pray to her goddess. Um, see if there's... If this or if there is a viable place around here, that's kind of why I wanted to go to the temples in the first place. Uh, it, okay, if there's suitable places to sleep. Yeah, basically pray to see if there's any advice or if this is, or if there's any protection she can place on this being a holy temple. Oh, in that way. Okay. She she gives it to her she's like yeah I can, I can give it my best shot. Um she goes down and she uh she goes to the altar and she goes to and she starts praying. Uh, it's gonna take a couple minutes. Yep. I'm cool with that. Um I actually go out at that time and I knowing that this is a pretty solid building and it's uh tied to her god as well, I shoot up a fireball stating like you know, come this way. Are we close enough to see that fireball? Uh, both of you roll a d20. Uh, it's a perception check. No charisma? Uh, not you. Um, Donnie and Willow. No. Uh, so, like, 14 and... Willow sees the fireball. What, right. roll a 21 or whatever? Something like that. Yeah. Willis sees a fireball and she's like, oh, they found something or they're in trouble. We should go look. Let's book it right on over there. Okay, so apparently they're sprinting towards you. Um, Gnome Face, what are you going to do in the meantime? Puddle around. Actually, actually, no. I won't puddle around. Well, kind of. I'm going to summon my water elemental. And I, w I want him to do something kind of specific. I want him to clean the temple with his water. To help um, Demi, because you know God's like when you do shit for him. <laughs> oh, okay. <To> put it <laughs> you summon your little water elemental, and you give him the directions, and he starts yep. spraying off the the stone of the building and the bricks. Um. That'll take some time, but in the end, the building looks a, a cleaner. Okay. Well, that's that's what I do. Well, I'm waiting for Demi to pray and Doofus and Willow to show up, trying to help our benefits of getting a safe place to sleep. All right. Um. So yeah, while he's spraying that, Die Danger and Willow walk up on you. We're hot. Puffin, you know, we were going fast. Are you guys in danger? Uh, no, no. Found a temple, relatively whole. Uh, it's not specifically to Demi's goddess, but somebody related to her goddess, and she's now praying for either a safe place to sleep or to make this a safe place to sleep. Whichever. Well, I look at the house. Does it seem steady? Do I, can I roll a perception check? It's sure. a temple, not a house. The 11, does it look better than the last place I found? This one looks dirty. I say, ah, yes, no face. Excellent. Not only is this house better in quality than the one I found, but it's also a house of a god. Temple. Temple. 
Temple. House of a God. Temple. temple. Okay, Temple. <laughs> you can call a temple a house of a god. Yeah, but he's been calling it house the entire time. Yeah. He just added the house of a god at the end there. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All okay. Right. All right. So while you guys are arguing whether it's a house or a temple, Demi walks to the door. I look to her and I go, how'd things go, beautiful? Uh, she goes, uh, well, uh, they promised us protection for the night. Sweet. Uh, well, that didn't take long, so we can either start resting up now or explore and see if we can find anything the, the looters have missed. All in all, <laughs> it's taken like two hours since you guys left the building. So we still got a couple hours. Well, we can also get a full night's rest without, you know, pulling guard shifts for once. Well, we can do that anyway. If, if it's been a couple hours since we left, we're looking at it being about 5 o'clock-ish right now, which means we still got, like, three hours before we'd have to go to bed to get a proper long rest. I suppose we could do some uh, some light looting. Cool. I want to go to the Ghetto of Scholars. Uh, I'm going to leave my summoned elemental here to keep cleaning the building, though. Yep. Um, and I think Demi's going to stay here and commune with her god is if she can. But I'm going to go here. I'll allow it. Being promised protection and all, she should be all right if I went to the Ghetto of Artisans. Artisans, they, they make shit, right? Maybe I can find some good smithing tools there. You go there. Yep. Hopefully, I'll find some good stuff to you know, add to my kit. Some tools that have survived the fire. Uh, Willow, you're free to join me. Uh, the ghetto one as well. Maybe you'll find a uh, I don't know some flutes or something. I don't know what you're into. Uh, you didn't move yet. Uh, she's gonna, she's go through. It. Yeah, I'm gonna go off on my own. Uh, I'm gonna right. see what I can find, and plus, I can run faster without you, like without having to worry about you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Bold and capable as always. Well, meet you back at the temple. Okay. Uh, gnome face, you're at the ghetto of scholars. Yep. Um, I mean, it's a whole bunch of houses. They all have different, like, magic stuff in them. Um, if you're looking for anything specific, state what it is and then roll for it. Um, like I asked at the last bookstore, I want to find either a book that will help me with this or a manual or something, I want to be able to manipulate my spells, not change them per se, but like change the shape. So instead of shooting a fire bolt, I could change it to a fire dagger or fire arrow or a fire lance so that it does like blunt or piercing damage specifically. You know what I mean? Yep. I want to be able to do that. Basically, I'm looking for like a basic magic manipulation so I can change all my spells and give them a little bit more utility instead of just being basically a fireball, a lightning ball, and an earthen shield. So, is that the only thing you're looking for? Uh, that and, um, I need some water spells, because all I've got is shower dance, and that's starting to actually really affect me. Okay, um... But actually, I have, before... You say anything? I actually do have a plan for this. I want to reach out with my magical senses and try to sense any books that give off a magical signature so that I can go through them and see if there's anything I want. Is that doable? Okay. Um, it's doable, but the books themselves now won't necessarily be enchanted. Not normally. I mean, I'll let you okay. roll for that one. 
Well, do you want me to make two rolls then? One a general search and one the magic search, or just the one roll? Uh, well, I was going to say, if you're doing this, we'll roll one per hour. Um, I got an 11. Well, aren't you guys going to be looking around for like three, four hours? About three-ish, yeah. Actually, we roll six. One for half, per half hour. So, so five, five more. more. Uh, wow. 14, 14, 18, 23, and a 15. Oh, I mean, they weren't terrible. No, not bad. Um. Alright, so you find this book. It doesn't feel magical, but... And it looks kind of a little burned. But you can make it out. It It's... It, it, the what you can see is forbidden and what would be a word um in the bottom it's the art of changing or the art of blank spells no actually that line you can read it says the art of changing spells forbidden art of changing spells that's specs okay Really? My son's playing Pokemon and he was talking to his Pokemon and he said, Ah, punch him in the face. <laughs> I don't think that's one of the four moves. You, you're a great influence on him. It, I blame you two. <laughs> what? That's all dying. I right say there. stab him. Stab him in the face. <laughs> Is that all I get? The one skill book? Yeah. Okay. I uh, head back to the temple then. Die danger. Okay, so I'm not just looking for tools. I mean, that's mostly what I'm looking for. I'm hoping to get a nice hammer of my own, but I was offered a quest to get some uh, iron from the capital city, which is now burnt. I was assuming imports or Exports, if they mine their own here, would be in the artisan district. So hopefully, I'll find some good iron. I forgot about that. Good, good memory. All right, thank you. Well, I read ten. Uh, what was that, gnome face? I said he's probably got it written down. His <laughs> memory is like the worst of the three of us. He's got to have that written down somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, well, my luck's also the worst of the three of us. <laughs> What'd you roll? A nat one, a four, a two, a three, and then a fifteen and a thirteen. Wow! Right. Yeah, that's pretty shit. You don't find any tools, but you find a wagon ah. that has a lot of ores on it. It looks like rocks, I, I uh, but they they don't look like the normal rocks that you see on the side of the road. I'm assuming my experience working at the School of Pounding has at least given me some knowledge as to what ore looks like. Yeah, so I mean, you, you can tell they look like ore. I take I take what looks like it might have, you know, its weight's worth in ore, and leave anything that looks like it's like 80% fucking useless rock. Because, you know, we can only carry so much. I try to take the finest chunks I can. And you're haul it gonna, back. You're not going to get much for a couple chunks. Oh. Well, I guess I take everything I can find. It, it, it's it's a wagon full. Oh. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. So you find a wagon full of these ores. But one of the wheels is burned up. I guess I'm really going to have to put my back there. You know. Actually, hold on. Do I have time to look for like a replacement wheel? Well, this is coming from the guy who was bragging about his upgrade to 21 strength not too long ago. I, it would be an awkward carry. It's not like a matter of being too too weak. It's just, you know, it's it's a degrading wagon. Okay, you okay. You can look for a wheel, but you'll get back to the temple later. Okay, I try my best to break it. Or drop it. 
Wait, you're breaking a job in what? Dragon. The wagon. Oh. I try to roll it while supporting the weight as best as I can. So you're not looking for a new wheel? No, I, I guess I don't really have time for that. I am trying to be careful with this wagon, though. Okay. Um, let's see how fast you go. Roll 3d20 plus strength. Not much better. Uh, 19, a 2, and a 7, so that'd be like a 24, a 7, and a 12. Not All right. bad. Not great. So you you end up... Alright, I uh, I found a good like lift point, and you start rolling. So the one t wheel is pretty decent, but the other one is not working. So you take the place, you like grab by the axle and you hold this side and you start rolling it towards the temple. Yep. How far do I get? You get about like halfway there and then the you put a lot of pressure on like the frame and like the top kind of starts cracking. Oh cool. and you think to yourself, you're like, I I I need to find a replacement for this wheel. Um Otherwise, the or I the, the way I'm gripping this is going to break it. Okay, I am going to take a little bit of time out of my rest to try and find a replacement for the wheel. Okay. Hmm. Do I roll anything? Yeah. You you can roll. D twenty. Seventeen. Well, first you roll it down the halfway there and. You end up finding a merchant cart that looks like it has an intact wheel on attached to it. Hey, screw replacing the wheel. I could just put all the ore in this cart. That would probably actually be faster than trying to, you know, you know, just take a wheel off, and put it on. So no, I bring the, the new. The wagon. Yeah, okay. Is, the wagon is to like three times the size of that merchant cart. Oh, okay. Well, I take a wheel off the merchant cart then. All right, you take the wheel off and you attach it. Um, I'll let you roll a d20 just for shits and giggles. That was solid thinking, though. But I, I applaud your, your thinking on that. I'm just using that one. <laughs> Thank you. you. You successfully attach it. Okay, no mishaps, no tragedies. Let's carry on with this wagon. Carry on with this wagon. <laughs> uh, it was bad. Okay, right. you're strong enough. You you grab the front, you start walking, and the the wagon pulls behind you, and you make your way to the temple. Um, before you get there, it's everyone else's turn. Um, you guys arrive back there, and Dying Danger is not back yet. Um. I'm trying to do this without being meta. Um. So I have to think about my wording. Give me a second. All right. How about we take a quick break while you think of that? Sounds sure. good to me. Okay. Right. No, gnome face. What are you going to do? All right. So we all get back. We noticed that by the arranged doofus still isn't here. Um. I say to Willow and Demi, I go, I think he's probably fine. I didn't hear any screaming or shouting, which it normally does. But um, I, even if I wanted to go look for him, I really can't without magic. So we need to at least take a short rest. If he's not back within three hours, then we go looking for him. Willow chimes in. Yeah. He he's a grown man, uh, we think. He'll Not be at fine. least physically. And it's not like we haven't been sleeping on the dirt the last how many days? True. 
No, the cold hard floor of the burnt out temple ain't gonna be much better. So you guys are discussing this, and uh, then it you guys head inside. Yep. Do you st sit up, like, talking, drinking a little bit, or do you just go to bed? I share with both uh, Demi and Willow the book I found, and I go, I'm hoping, I I talk to him, and I go, I know it says forbidden, but I'm really hoping this leads What I've been looking for, I need to get some versatility. Oh, sorry, I need to get some versatility in my magic. It's starting to become just, yeah. Not as not as awesome as I'd like it to be. Willow goes, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I was wondering why you didn't really have any water spells yet, but I figured you weren't specializing in, in that direction. Well, I still don't really have much for water. I have my shower dance skill, and I, for a while, I really did think it was enough just to have one of every element. But I'm starting to doubt myself now, so. That that lava guy was really, he was an eye-opener for me. I thought we were cream of the crop, and then we kind of almost got our asses whooped. If he hadn't run away, we'd have been fooked. Sure, yeah. That that makes sense. Uh, she, she chimes in, uh, check out the book I found. And she shows you a pretty together book. It, uh, it reads, um... Uh, like hand, hand and no fist and foot combat, or fist and foot techniques, the art of throwing your opponent. Oh, are you looking to branch out into some more martial techniques, or are you thinking about giving that to the doofus? Sure. Uh, no, he's not quick enough to learn this. Uh, I've been practicing this one move, and I'm almost done. I just need a little, little extra help with it. Oh. Well, I'm not one for sparring, so yeah, just uh, tell tell Donnie that you want to train with him and just beat him around the block for a little bit. I'm sure he'd love it. He goes, oh yeah, that's my plan exactly. That's why we're having that uh, um, fighting studio in the new place, right? Well, it's more of an arena-ish area, but yeah. Okay, um, you guys are discussing, and it gets close to the time when you're about to head off to, or like, lay down and go to sleep. Donnie, you approach from, uh, at the outside. Um, uh, I knock on the door, it's a me. Not a loser. Showed up, you asshole. Wait, do you actually yeah. knock? Well, yeah, because it could be a looter. I have to let him know that it's me. All right, if you're knocking, no face, you hear a knock on the door. Uh, who is it? It's me, Donnie. About time you show up. Yeah, I open up the door. What took you but, so long? Well, I did have a task from a, a person in Wayside, Wayside Village. What is it called? Uh, Emerico? Hammerfell. Yeah, the smithy in Hammerfell had a quest to collect some iron. I found some ore in the ghetto of Arzens. And since we're trying to get into questing, I thought we could do one on the way there. But I'm probably going to need some help carrying all this stuff. After all, I needed a wagon just to get it all over here. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sure we can figure something out. Maybe take the wagon with us. It's not a bad idea. It's going to make the trip there a little bit longer, though. And we do have our mounts tied up outside the city as well. Yeah, I suppose. If we got saddlebags. Well, I more so meant use the mounts to pull the wagon. Oh, hey, even better idea. There we go. 
collect ourselves a nice little prize on the way back to Brockhart. We, we just which. shakes her head and she's like, if, "What would we do if it wasn't for? What would you do if it wasn't for Gnome Face, Donnie?" Uh, probably be killing boars in the starting area. Wait, Last. wait! No. <laughs> I didn't just say that. She laughed like you know. I I I'd believe that. No, I I I'd uh. Let let me think of that one a bit. You sprung that one up on me. Uh, wait a minute, Willow. Uh, what were you looking for? She try. Uh, she responds like, "Oh, I was just looking to see if there was uh anything to learn, like information wise on like fighting techniques." Find anything? She's like, yeah, just one crummy book. Thought I'd give it a read. Uh, I'm not much of a reader, unless it's got pictures in it. She flips through it really quickly, like fanning the pages. She's like, no, nope, no pictures. No, uh, not a book for me, then. Well, I wasn't going to give it to you. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask for it. She looks at you, she's like, you literally were about to ask me for it if it had pictures in it. Yeah, if it had pictures in it. <laughs> it's yours. I hope you enjoy it. So, oh, I, I'm sure I will. All right. Well, it's been far too long. Maybe we should all enjoy a good rest. Yeah, yeah, definitely need some rest. All right, at this point, it's late in the it's late in the night. Uh, you guys head off to bed, and you sleep. You there's a couple of sounds outside, but you none of you are disturbed by it. You're like, oh, it's just looters. And you get up in the morning. Sweet deal. I feel great. I feel awesome. I can do this. <laughs> I just feel alive again. Invigorated. What about you guys? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm the only one who uh, gets excited coming back from the brink of death. Well, Will gets up stretching, like, oh, should have a nice quick ride back to Brackheart at this rate. Peter's taking a poop. He's taking a poop. Hello. Hello. I think he said his computer's uh, taking a poop. Hold on, I gotta, gotta get out of Discord and get back on. My computer is acting up. Get a new computer. Okay, I'm back. Welcome. My computer just went all buggy. Well, well, I'm glad you're back. Did I miss anything? I just asked how everybody feels, and Willow was about to say something. You need a new computer. That's what Willow says. And that's what everyone says. Yeah, Willow. She chimed in and she's like, oh yeah, I'm feeling great this morning. We should be a pretty quick ride back. I like to think. We are stopping by Hammerfell on the way back, right? Like, there wasn't it some, like, alternate... What? It is on the way. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't some weird leaving route or something I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good rest. You guys get up prepping for the day. Uh, you guys grab all your stuff and you head on out. And Donnie, you're reminded that you have this giant wagon to haul back. Uh, I'm say, guys, wait up for me, guys. Oh, uh, we have to get our mounts first. 
So they're they're start walking towards the gate, and Donnie lifts up the front of the wagon and starts to pull it. Yeah, I try to keep up as best as I can without putting undue pressure on the wagon. You're undue pressure. No, I'm not. I'm perfectly, perfectly acceptable amount of pressure. All right. So you guys get to the front gate. Uh, you're going to grab your mounts. Donnie, I'm assuming you're attaching the wagon to your mount. It's too late, buddy. Too late. Yes, I am. All right, you do so. And you guys start. Uh, do you wish to leave right away? Uh, there's nothing else we need to do already, right, guys? I'm ready to go right now. I actually don't think there's anything else we have to do in this area. All right. You guys start heading out? Yep, straight to Hammerfell. Um... You guys are on the path. So it was a, what, two-day travel from Hammerfell? Or was it one-day travel? I think it was a one-day. Capital, it was only a day. Yeah, it feels like it was just a day. Yeah, Capital was a day. Um, (laughs) Actually, Capital was like half a day. And then um, back to Brockhart, it was two-day travel. Okay, yeah, so you guys have to spend one night along the way. Yeah. Um, but, so, you guys are... Do you try to stop where you were at before? That's the question. I say go as long as we can. Yeah. It's short enough that even if we try to ride throughout the night, we would still get to town and, you know, be able to hit up and in. It was a very short distance between Hammerfell and uh, Ash Ashbourne, as far as I remember. Shark. All right, so you guys are going. It's you guys are taking. You're going a little slower. Um, and uh, I should switch you guys. Hmm. No, you're not watching Nick tonight. Because tonight is Friday night and I have Dandy. So no Nick. Alright, so you guys start going along the way. And all of a sudden, you, you guys take a... You hit the... No, this wasn't an intersection. Anyway, so you guys are going along the way. And there's a huge uh, herd of people. That come up with you guys. Because you guys are moving kind of slow. Like a herd of people move up on us. Like all on horses. They are are they? they, Yeah, like I'm waving. Like, hey. Hi. (laughs) What's up? Did any of them do anything? Uh, yeah, they surround you. Darn it. Does anybody step forward? Uh, not yet. Uh, do you guys want to stop, or do you guys want to try pushing your way? Oh, through? yeah. If yeah. we're surrounded, I want to stop. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Uh, can we help you? Hold on, Donnie. You will get your chance. <laughs> this is what got you in trouble last time. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> I don't need you getting your ass kicked by villagers again. I, I'm being meta here, but like, give me a minute. <laughs> All right. So you guys are surrounded, and one of the guys, a uh, group of three of them, kind of like come forward, and they like step forward. They're like, "Hey, blah blah blah. Are these the people?" And uh, you hear someone from the crowd or from the group like, yeah, these are them. So one of the leaders, what look to be the leaders, they're like, so we hear you guys didn't pay your taxes. 
I look at her confused and I go, I wasn't even asked to pay taxes. Uh, they, they, they turn to look at, uh, the guy who they asked beforehand. Is this true? Uh, and then the other person responds. Uh, well, those three don't look familiar. That one. And he points right at Dying Danger. He's the one who killed the other horse. How did you prove that? Uh, <laughs> you say that as the woman who was, or the, the leader is about to be like, oh, well, I, she's like, wait. So, sir, did you kill a horse? Did you evade our taxes? Do, do you know what? Yeah. Is it true you killed one of the horses of one of the collectors? I certainly don't remember killing an animal. What? I didn't do that, did I? I don't know. <laughs> um, before before she gets much farther, though, I go, um, can, hold on, hold on one second, one second. I understand what your group is. I have recently been to Ashburn. <laughs> and I heard all about the way your king treats people, the giant douchebag that he was. <laughs> I want to let you know that the city is empty, and you no longer have needs to live in the outskirts like bandits, and if you and your fine people were to go to Ashburn right now, you could probably save a good chunk of the city and end up, you know, rulers in your own right, rather than just bandits on the road trying to survive. She looks appalled. She Something goes, smell bad? Did, did... Sir, I... I think I get what you're trying to say, but shame on you for assuming that we're in a poor quality of life. What we're doing, the city oh. that we, the city and city or civilization that we have, m matched what Ashbourne was before it fell. Okay, well, you, I apologize for my assumption. And figured that living the life of bandits could not have been a glorious, honorable life. I apologize for the question. I am just stating now quite clearly that if you go to the state that you clearly follow in your own lives, now would be the time to do it before somebody else moves in. Um, don't waste time with me and my friends. We're on our way out. And you Never see us again. Right now would be the time to pounce on getting Ashburn back to where you want it. So guys, we have no need for Ashburn. Ashburn was just a figurehead. We've been living on our own for like for the past however many years. We we've established ourselves and we, we live comfortably. And now, actually, now that Ashbourne has fallen, the smaller districts can finally be allowed to prosper. All we ask is the people that use these roads pay forth their taxes so that these roads can continue to be as nice as they are. Well, but how much we is your tax? Were... Let's go ahead, sorry. So how much is your taxes? Oh, she says, oh, yeah, it's a hundred Floyds. Per person? And, yeah, uh, per person. Um, 300 for that wagon there. Mm. I go, look, look, look. Again, I, I apologize for my assumption. I, I really thought you would be more interested in claiming the city and turning it into what you idolized it to be. But again, I, I stand corrected. I will pay the Floyds for me and my crew. 
Um, the doofus over there can pay for his wagon. Um, all I ask is that we part ways amicably before my friend ends up saying something stupid and pissing you guys off. Oh, she goes, yeah, that's all we asked for. It's we, we just had to come here because the last time someone approached that man of paying his taxes, he just flat out started attacking them. So we had to make sure we came with backup. Okay. Right, thank well, you very I, much. I toss her her Floyds. I give her 300 I, Floyds. I look at Doofus and I go, stop attacking random people. And I it wasn't of random. It wasn't random. <laughs> they targeted me. <laughs> she, she goes, uh, they, they part ways, and it looks like you guys are in the center of a parade because all the people on horses next to you along down the path. And she goes, well, I bid you guys the best of life. And if you ever come on back, make sure you take the left route and come on visit our main city. Will do, will do. I grumble on the way back. And, and, like... and she steps out of your way. Glorified highwaymen. They could build a city full of highwaymen. They'd still be thieves on the road. Dude, there's like 20 of them. We couldn't kill them all. Suck it up, Buttercup. Uh, it just hurts to put paint and point such pretty words at such worthless lowlifes. She she overhears that and says, what do you call me? We were away! You didn't we hear were, anything. We were honestly riding away, okay? <laughs> you didn't hear anything. <laughs> They're not low lifes, you ignorant Donnie yeah. Musclehead Danger. They came up to me with taxes without a license. They're low lives. You didn't ask for a license. They said, hey, did you pay your taxes and you took out your sword? <laughs> they had no intention in attacking you until you swung at them. How? Does somebody come up on a highway, you know, a crossroads asking for taxes, not being a highway man? <laughs> Just felt like a reasonable assumption. Okay, then you and I... Sure, you could call him a highwayman, but I don't think they're the highwayman that you're thinking of. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, you guys end up making your way back to Hammerfell. All right. Uh, is what was that? Is it daytime, nighttime? Uh, I mean, you guys were riding for a while, plus you have the wagon, which slowed you down. Um. So, yeah, it, it's pretty late. I guess I should ask uh, if they got like a storage place for the wagon. <sighs> it, it, it's like the middle of the night. Um, you guys approach the gate from the north. Um, I asked the stable keep. Oh, wait, there is no stables, are there? We take them into town. Yeah, we take our mounts into this town and tie them up outside wherever we're staying. All right. Is there anything anybody wants to do here? I kind of want to find that bard. It's really late. You really think they're going to be... I'm sure he'll be at the end playing for all the drunken sailors. I suppose. Alright, okay. so let's head to the end. Yeah, sure. Alright, well, you guys get to the end. Is there a party? Uh, you, you guys uh casually walk through town, not to try to make any disturbance since it's late at night. And uh, well, I'll move you guys. Don't worry. You get me and you go down and you get to the end. Uh, How's it looking? And Your heroes are back. There's a group of people that are inside. Whatever. Um, nothing special, but yeah. Ew. Or did you uh, say that when you walked in? 
Yeah, I said that as I walked in. Your heroes are back. How's it going? Uh, roll a d20. <laughs> Let's make it spicy. Yeah. That's a nine. Alright, a handful of, so like, amongst the crowd, half the people look at you, see you, and they're like, alright, oh, it's just someone showing up. You hear a whole bunch of people, like, uh, uh, another chunk of people like, who are you? Chiming like that. Like, Get out of here, buzzkill. But then you also hear the same amount of people, of uh, those last ones, go like, yeah, a shot on me. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe this place ain't so bad. I come over for that shot. There's three different people bought you shots, and there's three different mugs in front of you. Uh, I, I look at the people. Do I recognize any of them? Maybe some of them used to wear a robe and were part of a cult. Roll. D20. Plus or perception. A seven. You just look at everyone. You're like, you know, you all are family to me. We're just going to drink till the day is done. Hey, oh, I down the shots. You don't recognize any of them. You're just like, oh, they're just fellow patrons that are ready to drink. Just like me. All right, let's do this. I down the shots. So you guys recognize me, I say, as I'm getting tipsy. Um, before you go too much into your drinking, uh, the rest of you, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Oh, uh, is the bard there? Yes, he's playing in the corner. Okay. I approach him, uh, wait for his song to end and have, like, an intermission. All right, it happens. I go, hey, I want to invite you to rock hard. Is it? Oh, sorry. Uh, I think with your playing and Willow here singing, you guys could uh, have a real thing going when we're in the city of rock hard on all time off. And Willow seemed to enjoy it greatly. So I figured I'd throw out an invitation for you to join us. He goes, oh, that's where you guys are from. Well, it's not where we're from, but it is where we're stationed. Oh, well, yeah, that's... So in, in terms of it, that's where you're from before you came here. Yeah. Um... Well, I will think about it. Well, we're leaving out tomorrow morning. Um, so if you want to join us, we'll get you a place to stay in our guild hall uh, for a little bit. If you stay there too long, you will have to pay rent or do services for the guild. But uh, I can at least put you up for a little bit as an incentive to join us while you and Willow get your music business off the ground as it said he goes um i'll have to i'll I'll think about it and i'll get back to you uh i'll, I'll see you tomorrow before you head on out Sounds good. after that i uh take demi's hand go up to our room and study I, I can hear the hand quotation marks as you're saying that. <laughs> I did that on purpose, yes. <laughs> Mom is home! Uh, okay. uh, Demi's like, can... I, can I would like to actually have a drink first. Okay. So, we have drinks first. I'm not going to argue with the pretty lady. Alright, so you guys chill at the bar. A little ways down from... Uh, Donnie. Oh, they're still at the bar. <laughs> Donnie's wrapped up in uh, people buying shots for him. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you guys sit down for a while, chatting. Um, I no. feel 
All right, that's a great sign. Um, so yeah, you guys are just hanging out. I think it's later, and you realize, oh, it's uh closer to morning than it is closer to night, or closer to dusk. It's closer to dawn than it's closer to dusk, and you decide to uh, head on to bed. Um. How do I want to make Donnie roll? I am enthralling them with tales of my adventures and how I saved their city. He's gonna give you countless a hangover. others. <laughs> what? I think he's gonna give you a hangover. Well, what what about these people hearing my grand stories? That, that's fine. Um, so <laughs> roll it twenty. Just a straight D twenty. We'll see what happens. A 19, actually. I can't read it from here. Well, you said you were... You oh, are yeah. so caught up in your storytelling that you just can't deprive these people. It's like a farmer's market for the entire Milwaukee area. Um, right. Yeah, that's a good place, by the way. If, you, if, you, if you're interested, check it out. There's a lot of crafts and stuff besides food. Um, but anyways, Die Danger, you... See, you are you do the bean in your body. The fibers does not want to deprive these people of the stories that you have to tell them, and you can drink so with them. I regale them with my countless adventures, wrapping my name and the guild of Brockhart. I tell yeah. them of the time that we slayed the Minotaur, fought the Thunder Lizards, defeated the cult, and saved their city. And ventured into Ashbourne hoping to salvage some lives valiantly. Alright, um. So the inn kind of winds down later at night, uh. And Donnie, you end up making your way up to bed at some point. Um. Yeah. Damn, they thought I was so cool. <laughs> um, it is now morning. Um, how early do you guys want to get up? I'm willing to sleep in, but I need to wake up for business hours so I can deliver this uh, this iron ore. Oh, you're at least going to be awake during business hours. So I was sleeping in. No face. How how early do you want to get up? Regular time. That doesn't help. Like uh, daybreak, like morning. While after. Like breakfast time, morning. So like like on ish. Yeah. All right. Uh, you and Demi and Willow. Uh, I mean, unless you want to do something in your room, but the, mm. you three wake up and you guys end up meeting each other. Willow's already awake. Uh, you guys are down eating breakfast. Yep. Eat breakfast. Ask everybody. I, I let Willow know I invited the bard to our guild for just to Brockhart and gave a, and told him he'd have room in our guild if he wished, so that she and him can do a sort of music thing in Brockhart. Says you did what? I repeat myself. <laughs> um, I I don't know how I feel about that. Well, take it or leave it. Either you sing with him or you don't. I just figured it would be a nice gesture. Um, well, I thank you, but yeah, uh, a little heads up. Beforehand, would have been. Well, that's why I'm giving you heads up now. <laughs> heads up afterhand. Yeah. She 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 repeats. Yeah, the beforehand part. Um, yeah, I'm not too much of singing for money. I just did it the one time because everyone was. Uh, we were trying to lift their spirits, and everyone was in good spirits. Um. She quickly well, finishes her food and is like, I... 
Of course, she runs off uh, after she says she's not into singing for money. I go, in all honesty, you don't have to sing with him. That's not even part of the deal. I just figured he would be useful to us in the guild if we're going to do anything. Having a bard could be useful for helping sales if we decide to craft our own goods. I know the doofus is trying to craft, and I'm learning enchanting. So it's having somebody to, who owes us that can, you know, do stuff like that is always useful. She replies, uh, she, 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 like, pauses and then, like, before she stays there, she's like, all right, if you put it that way, I, as long as he doesn't have expectations that him and I are going to be traveling. Well, he, um, he hasn't agreed whether or not he's going to be coming yet or not anyway. So when he comes to speak to me in the morning, I'll make sure he knows that you have not decided to be a group with him and his coming to Brockhart isn't dependent on that. Uh, it's more just me inviting him, less you. Would that be okay? Yes, that that would be much better. Okay, well, then it's settled. Alright, um, so yeah, you guys finish your breakfast. Uh, what would you like to do after that? Wake up Donnie Danger so he can sell his iron and we can go. I summon a snow, a rainstorm in his bedroom. <laughs> uh, you do that. Dying Danger, you wake up with a uh, rain coming all upon your head. and body. I flop and I flounder off of my bed. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> what did I drink last night? Am I outside? You... You do that. Um, <laughs> I'm all out of drink. Oh, no. Uh, You're in a worse condition than Donnie. No. Yeah, so you uh, you don't feel good. To, safe to say. Um, but you're awake now. And you're like, um, I don't know what time it is, but I should go... Uh, See what everyone's doing. Uh, yeah. Oh, I make my way down. Oh, why was it raining in the middle of a room? Uh, more importantly, uh, maybe I should get something to eat. eat put something in my stomach. Where is everybody? You're good. You just need a little more hiccup in your... <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, guys. Ugh. Uh, where is everyone? So no, face it. Were you? Are you guys just chilling at the table waiting for him? Yep. All right. So Donna, you go down there and you're like, uh, and you see them sitting at the table. Uh, good morning, guys. Is this anything good to eat? Gruel. Gruel. All right, I'll take some gruel. It wasn't raining in your rooms, by the way, was it? No, no, no. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Great, actually. The people of this city recognize a hero <laughs> uh, when they see one. So, no getting recognition always is the best remedy for any hangover. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll eat some gruel. Drop off this uh, or and uh, make a killing or a mining. I was gonna say, if you attack anybody in this town again, <laughs> I don't think I feel good enough to attack anyone. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's fair. If he wants to give me a raw deal, I guess I'll just have to put up with it. Ugh. 
I really went out of my way for him. So let me take out these this ore and see if uh, that guy is willing to be as generous as I'm hoping. Oh, okay. I eat my gruel, and I prepare to deliver the ore. Uh, you do that. Um, at this point, can we take a break and so I can get a drink and use the bathroom? Um, it's actually getting like super late for me as well. So, oh, so you just want to call it here? Yeah, I was wondering if we could call it. Lame. 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 Old. Leave me alone. Loser. Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The um, Ace Venture? Hello, yeah. sir. <laughs> Please tell me you visualized that when I said it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, loser. Yeah, I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we can call it. Uh, let me do a recap then. Okay. Or I send off. <laughs> so we're gonna call it there for tonight. Will Donnie get as much as he thinks for the ore? And will the adventurers make it unscathed back to Brockhart? What's waiting for them at Brockhart? We'll find this out next week. 